good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. I think you're mainly over here, so it's afternoon, evening. Um, my name is Callum Williamson from APW. Today I'm here with Stephanie Morgan of Grant Property. Hello, Steph. Hello. Um, I was, I did write up a bit of an intro to try and give you um, an intro, but I thought, what's the point when we've got you here? I'll let you do it because you're probably going to give a far better intro than I could, I could do justice. So I'll let you do that. How it's going to work, guys, we, we'll try not to take too much of your time. Um, we'll have an intro from Steph. She'll, she'll present for us about 30 minutes, I think. Is that, is that right, Steph? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. As, as she's presenting, guys, if you've got any questions, check them in the chat box, which I think is down there somewhere. Um, I'll gather those together, and then at the end, we'll do a bit of a Q&A session. Uh, so please make sure you do put some questions in there. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up, and we'll put the recording up on YouTube, and we'll send it out as well, just in case you wanted to rewatch it. So um, there we go. I hope that's OK. Shall we? I'll pass over to you, I suppose. Awesome. Yeah, and as Callum has said, um, you can put your questions in the chat box and also at the end of the webinar, I'll also make all of you a panelist so you can speak as well, so if we can have an interaction as well. Um, but my name is Stephanie. I am the associate director or one of the associate directors in the investment team here at Grant Property. Um, we are a leading uh, property investment company in the UK. We have offices in over seven cities um, and we have been around for 25 years this year um, and we have helped clients invest over 3,000 times in our years, which we are very, very proud of. Um, and hopefully uh, some of you will become um, loved clients as well once you see what we have to offer. Um, so as Callum said, I will share some slides just now. We'll go through them. Anything that pops to mind, please do write into the chat box um, and we will chat after uh, the show. So I shall get started now. So um, as I said, uh, we are Grant Property. We are an investment and management company. And today we're going to talk about how to maximize returns and minimize tax, because that's something that people are always very interested in. OK, um, so let me just. Here we go. So context, what we do and why. Um, we'll go over that. We'll go over some investment options, case studies, and the quote unquote fun bit. OK, and just to uh, kind of point out, these are actual proper pictures of houses or, um, you know, spec of what we do. So any photos that you see are things that are from our portfolio. So you'll see here that, you know, our spec is actually quite, quite swish, very nice. Um, so what we do and how basically. So we're basically a full service solution. Um, we source properties, we have an in-house sourcing team here at Grant Property. Um, so boots on the ground in every one of our cities. Um, we renovate the properties for you. And not only do we renovate them, but we do them at a fixed cost and a fixed timeline as well. So all the hassle is taken away from you. Once the properties are renovated, we will then go to furnishing stage, which we also do in-house. We have an interiors coordinator. And then once your property's all up and running, it will feed into our management team, okay? Um, the things that make us unique as a business are we are a one-stop shop. So we're not just gonna source a property and pass it to you and say, find somebody to renovate. We're gonna do everything for you. Um, we are active in seven cities at the moment, but we do have coverage in 10. Um, well, we are now 25 years old, so we probably should get that um, updated, but we're a 25-year record at the moment. And um, we just hit 3,000. So even in the COVID times, we were able to really ramp up our investment. And we'll talk about um, how COVID has affected um, our model and what we do. We help, um, we help our clients and subsequently they help us grow. So we are a word of mouth business. Um, pretty much all of our clients come from referrals. Um, so either from lovely um, partners such as Callum and his business or from clients themselves. Happy clients will buy again and they will tell their friends. So that's what we're all about. We're about those relationships, making people happy, making them money, which also makes them happy and them spreading the word. So um, choosing your customers and tenants and, and how to do we meet their needs, okay? So what are tenants looking for? So tenants are looking for a great location, okay? Um, they are looking for a property that's in a great condition. They want the property to be safe, 
and affordable. So when I say safe, you know, they want to make sure that everything is, um, you know, in working order, but also that, you know, we are up to our highest safety, you know, certification that we can be, which we do take quite seriously. They're also interested in lower energy costs. Um, obviously, everybody remembers being a student, um, you know, everybody's had, you know, saving their pennies. So they want to make sure things are affordable. Something that we are super, super proud of here at Grant Property is um, since 2006, we've actually cut our CO2 emissions by 30%. Uh, something that a lot of people don't realize is property is one of the largest contributors towards CO2. So um, we decided all those years back, way before it was trendy, to start cutting that down. And actually these days, for every property that we rent, we actually plant a tree. So we do have a, a tree um, organization that does that. So that's really something special to us. They're also looking for good service, obviously, from us as their managing agent, and they want things to be efficiently dealt with. Okay. And then what we do in order to ensure that our tenants are happy um, is we make sure that we're sourcing properties in great locations. So we only source property in the most prime cities, uh, in the most prime locations. And when I say prime, I mean really big student-centric cities. We renovate our properties to a high standard. We are going to put in all those safety features. So one thing that does differentiate us as well is even if we are doing a one-bed property, we're still going to renovate it to the highest HMO standard. So, you know, fire alarms, smoke detectors, fire doors, and things like that to ensure that our tenants are safe. We're obviously going to make our properties energy efficient um, or as energy efficient as they possibly can be. And we help our clients, so our investors, by focusing on those low-risk properties in great locations. And as a one-stop shop, we're completely accountable for the property. So we are going to be doing everything from the sourcing through to the renovation and management. So it's very important to us that we get it right. We do offer a 12-month guarantee on our renovation, which is something that I still haven't found another company has done. Um, on sort of what you guys would call a secondhand property. Um, so if anything goes wrong in that first year after your renovation, it will be covered under your guarantee and we will pick up the cost, okay? And of course, our buying power saves you money. So we're buying hundreds of kitchens, hundreds of bathrooms, et cetera, every year, which means that we can pass on those economies of scale to you, okay? Um, and happy tenants are going to obviously refer their friends, which is going to help with your occupancy. And investors are going to tell their friends, which is going to help us grow. Okay. So the next section is going to be about investment options. Okay. As you guys know, there's many, many ways to invest in property in the UK. Okay. There's tons of options. There's tons of locations and there's tons of strategies as well. Now here at Grant Property, um, we are very focused on just a couple of tenant profiles. So overall, the tenant types across the UK look a little bit like this. So students make up about 45% of the rental market. And students are a big and very growing rental demand market, okay? Particularly in times of uncertainty, such as what we had last year, people do tend to go back to school or stay in school because it's the safest place to be. They're not price sensitive at all. Um, they're using their loans or the bank of mom and dad. So they are easy to put rent up. Um, you know, they're going to stay maybe one or two years, which means you also have opportunities to put rent up in those um, transient times. They're very, very low risk. Uh, we do all of our tenancies, even our HMO properties, so our larger properties, will go on one single tenancy which means that uh, all of them have the same risk. So if we have a five bedroom property, all five tenants will sign the same lease and they will all come with a guarantor as well, which means there's 10 people responsible for that property, okay? The next bit of the profile would be young professionals. Um, so young professionals are also really good part of the market. However, they don't come with guarantors. So what we do is we will make sure that they meet a minimum income threshold in order to ensure that your property is safe and the rent will be collected. The corporate sector is a good part of the market, but it is quite small. Um, it's not a massive part, um, so it's neither here nor there. 
the very good bit about that is they do tend to pay all of their rents up front, which is great. And obviously you've got a corporate client, so rents do tend to be um, on time and robust. Now, families are much, much more price sensitive. They're very, very difficult to raise the rent on, and they're also difficult to uh, get out of your property. So um, if you kind of um, hear about landlords who uh, had voids or were, were struggling to collect rent during the pandemic, they're going to have probably properties that are for families or for social tenants, okay? Um, the students and the young professionals and um not so much the corporate, but certainly the students and young professionals, they were very much so untouched during the pandemic. Uh, life just continued as it was. So there was no problem for our landlords, thankfully. Okay. Right, so we definitely love our students because they're very price insensitive, they're easy to deal with, um, and they can produce the bigger rents, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about traditional versus new built, okay? Um, now. Obviously, there's a place in portfolio for everything, and uh, a lot of our clients ask us why we focus on traditional property. So uh, here at Grant Properties, sort of the babies of our portfolio are going to be built in the 1930s. So they're still quite old. Um, they are traditional. They all come with, you know, the cornicing, stained glass, ceiling roses, fireplaces, things like that. Um, traditional properties tend to be in uh, more central locations because they were built before um, new build could sort of get in there. Um, the room sizes tend to be larger. And as far as rentability goes, um, we do find that our stock is much easier to rent because um, they are different. So there's not as much direct competition within their buildings. Whereas with new builds, as you know, they all tend to be of the same specification, the same size, and obviously they're all in the same building. Um, because of those reasons, um, in our experience, we found that our rental increases do tend to be much more robust um, than the new build side. Now, new build does have the advantage of everything being squeaky, clean and new, which is obviously a big selling point. However, um, we do renovate our properties to a brand new standard inside, uh, retaining all of the traditional charm. OK, um, as I say, in in every portfolio, there is room for both. Um, but what we have found, particularly when we weathered through the crash, is that um, our clients didn't have as much problems uh, with sort of uh, value decreases and things like that. Um, so that's why we focus on traditional in um, our portfolio. Okay. So um, now we're going to kind of talk about what we call the property mains. Okay. So there's a lot of things to consider when you are going to be buying a property um, and building a portfolio. So one thing is um, your bank. So what bank are you gonna use? What mortgages are you gonna put on? You need to consider the tax implications and that will form your structure, okay? Now, what we found is based on our sort of 25 years, um, when clients structure their purchases, buying in a limited company, with maximum LTV, so loan to value of 75%, the returns tend to be around 28% per annum, okay? And that's over all of our thousands of properties, having done tons and tons of portfolio reviews, we're finding that the average is about 28%, okay? On a cash purchase, you're looking at about 11% per annum. It's just because your money is all locked into those bricks, so you're not able to use them for something else. Now, in our model, because all of our properties need to be renovated, we usually say that you need a minimum of £100,000 to start investing with us, okay? And £100,000 will get you one property with a mortgage. Now, if you're looking to buy without mortgage comfortably and with the ability to have choices, you'd be looking at needing about between two hundred and three hundred thousand pounds and £300,000 up front, okay? Now, the government changed the tax rules in 2015. And before that, everybody used to buy property in their own personal name. Now people tend to buy properties in a limited company because they are far, far more tax efficient, okay? Um, the number one thing that we usually say is all of your bank interest, so that mortgage interest that you're paying is going to be tax deductible. If you buy in a personal name, this is no longer deductible. So it's gonna be a huge hit to your profits. 
A limited company is very easy uh, and low cost to set up. In fact, um, if you were to become a client of ours, we would actually set that up for you for free. Um, our finance department will get that done for you within 24 hours um, and you'll be um, off to the races. Okay. And the other thing too is it mitigates your inheritance tax. So if you're looking to perhaps um, create a legacy for your children or your family, it's a really good way to ring fence that inheritance tax for them um, because they would already have rights to that capital gain. Okay. Um, so those are just a few of the benefits of a limited company, but overall, what we find is about 95% of our clients these days, um, if they have the ability to do so, they will buy property in cash up front. And then as soon as the renovation is done, they will put bank lending in place. Um, equally, you're more than welcome to put bank lending in place at phase one, um, and then in phase two, switch over to a long-term loan, which is something we can certainly speak about um, one-to-one. -one. So essentially, lending plus a limited company equals higher returns and no tax to pay, okay? Um, the other thing that's really important to know is if you do have property already, um, you know, it is something that a lot of clients are thinking about moving into limited companies in order to enjoy some of those tax benefits. But again, it's certainly something that we would be more than happy to discuss with you. Okay. So now we're going to go over case studies, which is uh, my favorite bit because I always love seeing what we do with these properties. Um, so essentially, as I said, we only buy traditional properties. So we're looking at Victorian and Georgian properties, um, sort of red brick terrace houses as well, or what we like to call workers' cottages in Manchester. So there's rows and rows and rows of those cottages in Manchester. Um, but some of our more expensive cities um, tend to be certainly Edinburgh and Bristol. Um, Glasgow has its pockets that are more expensive, but you can get a uh, lower value as well um, in Glasgow. Um, and then our lesser expensive cities would be Manchester, Nottingham and Dundee, Birmingham. There are some pockets, again, that are lower price, but it is tending to, to trend upwards these days as well. Um, but our properties sort of go anywhere between renovated value of 150000 upwards of half a million. Okay. And these are all just all the locations that we're present in at the moment. OK, um, so some cities we're still sourcing in and some we just still have a portfolio in. Uh, everything is down to what's happening in the markets. So how do we buy in these prime areas? So we do have an expert property sourcing team, and here's a few of them. And their job is quite literally to find property every day. OK, so on and off the market, they're going to be assessing properties on behalf of our clients. Now, again, all of our properties are traditional, so they know exactly the types of properties they're looking for and what locations they should be looking in. So there's three sets of people who are essentially gonna look after your interests. So you've got our property sourcers who will assess the properties on and off the market, as I said. You've got an RICS surveyors who will confirm the value, okay? So this is a third-party surveyor, the same one that would go for you know, mortgage valuation. And they're going to assess the current condition of the property. And they're also going to tell us if the property was renovated to our standard today, what would it be worth, okay? And then of course, your own solicitor is gonna check the title deeds and the search packs and make sure that the property is viable. So how do we assess and win a property? So we might assess, let's say, 100 properties on and off the market. We're going to visit about 20 to 30 of those properties and assess them using our in-house bespoke buy-to-let model. If the numbers stack up, we might offer on 10 of those properties. And then of those 10 in this market, We'd be lucky if we won one of them, okay? So it's very high demand market, and that's why it's so important that we have so many property sourcers who are constantly looking for properties for us, okay? Now, we don't drag clients through any of this pain. We just share the whims. So any properties that we might share with you or you might see on our website, these have all been vetted by all three of these people. 
um, and they are available. We've negotiated the best price for you. We've done all of our due diligence. So it's not the case that you like something and then we have to go negotiate. If you like it, it can be yours, okay? And then of course, COVID is continuing to create supply shortages. So there is a lot of competition in the market just now. So it's important that if you are in the market for property, you are in a position to give a quick yes or no. Okay. Now, how do we create a great property? So this is an actual live property. So this is something that a client of ours bought about uh, I want to say maybe eight years ago now, eight or nine years ago. Um, so it's a flat. So in Scotland, we do tenement buildings. Um, and in England, we do more um, houses. But either way, what we'll do is we will assess the existing footprint of the property. So we're not going to do any loft conversions or extensions or anything like that. We're just going to make the existing footprint as good as it can be to maximize that value. OK, so our property sourcer went to the property and they quickly assessed that they could move the kitchen internally to create a open plan living kitchen, which is very trendy. People love open plan these days. And the original kitchen, they turned into bedroom four. OK, so with very minimal effort, they were able to create a four bed property. OK, now this property would be done in a fixed price renovation taking eight weeks, okay? So they're gonna strip everything out of the property. They're gonna move the walls around. They're gonna move the plumbing for the kitchen. They're gonna make sure that everything is done within that eight weeks and within the budget that we have set forward for you. Now, the benefits of these are the rents are gonna rise, obviously, because now you've got a four bed and it's beautiful. Your value is gonna go up as well. And your maintenance is gonna be significantly reduced because you do not have to worry about things that people tend to say about older properties that, you know, they have a lot of problems and things like that. Well, ours do not because we have just made it brand new inside. Okay. So we're going to reinstate original features. We're going to do new kitchen, bathroom, plumbing, central heating, completely rewire on your electrics. Uh, we're going to take all of the walls back to brick plaster them, um, enhance the layout as well. And then of course, we're going to make it look pretty nice inside. So these are actual real photos of the properties um, when they're done. So the furnishings are to a high standard. Um, the kitchen is lovely, the bathroom is lovely. And that just allows us to get that value increase for you and also the higher rents as well. Okay, um, and one thing I will say is we do have a YouTube channel um, and on there, it's got all of the renovations that we've done. Uh, so I do invite you to, to look that up because they're pretty impressive what we do, okay? So on this particular property, um, if any of you are familiar with Edinburgh, it's on Marchmont Road, which is one of the most prestigious areas in Edinburgh. Um, when they bought it, it was uh, 300,000 pounds and we said the renovation would be 39,300. So we have the surveyor go and they've confirmed, yes, 300,000 is the value. The property would be worth 40,000 when it's done. The difference is 40,000, perfect. It all stacks up, okay? Now, when the property was purchased, um, the, the last tenancy was for 975 pounds per month, and that was a 3.9% yield. When it was complete, it was worth 340. We had popped the rent up to 1,700 pounds, which gave it a 6% yield on its new value. Now that's 725 pounds extra a month and a 53% increase overall, okay? So already happy client, everybody's happy. Um, but the really cool thing is we put our rents up in a significant way every year. So we aim for about 15% a year. Um, even in 2020, we were able to put our rents up by 8% across the entire portfolio, which we're really happy with. Um, and this particular flat is now yielding over 14%. Okay, and I would say it's probably worth about 450 to 475 today. Okay, so the benefit of buying really well in really central locations is you are gonna have that capital appreciation naturally built in, and you're also going to have those, those rental increases year on year. And obviously, you're going to have something very prissy inside as well. Okay. So 
The next bit we're going to talk about is COVID. Obviously, everybody wants to talk about COVID. And is it an opportunity? Um, well, yeah. So there's supply shortages, which have led us to rent the rent increases that we've been able to achieve this year as well. Prices do continue to rise in the market. And there's, you know, that's just because of the high demand. Um, our sort of verdict is there's short supply, high demand, which is creating a sense of urgency and driving more investment. Uh, simply put, there's a lot of people who maybe wish they would have done it before, and they're now getting into the market in order to maximize on this um, buoyancy. So some sellers are holding off selling altogether. Some sellers are testing the market to see what's happening, but they won't discount. And there's some who are nervous and they might reduce the price, but in my experience over the last 15 months, many of them are not doing that. They'd rather just wait for someone to, to give them what they're looking for. Um, but supply shortages are a problem, as I say. So you have to take a time out before you go live. Make sure that you're ready to buy. When you're ready, <clears throat> you can buy something through myself or you can always peruse our online platform, which is called Apple Cross. That has all of our um, assets on it that are available at any given time. And you can reserve a property there or you can reserve one through myself. Now, what I will say is um, working with me or one of my colleagues means that if there's something online that doesn't suit your needs, as soon as one of our property sources has an offer accepted, we can sort of earmark that asset for you before it goes onto the website. Okay. We do take a £5,000 reservation um, as soon as you reserve the property, and then uh, we will take a, a secondary reservation of £20,000, so a total of £25,000, which reserves the property, prevents gazumping, and also will reserve your renovation time slot. Now, if any of you have done any property in the last sort of two years, you'll be well familiar with the fact that contractors are very, very busy at the moment. Supplies are in um, short short supply, there's a scarcity of um, different supplies, particularly plaster and things like that. So the 25,000 pound reservation allows us to get your stuff ordered, make sure that your time slot is secured and make sure that you are going to get your property renovated in good time, okay? So of course, um, just as a uh, sort of recap, the properties we shortlist are always checked for where they are. So what area they are in, what kind of rentals you can achieve, their values, and of course, their condition, okay? Now, managing risks. Um, property can be very time intensive, um, but our service is designed to take away that pain from you. We'll take care of everything for you. Property prices can, of course, fall. Um, during the financial crisis, they fell about 10%. Rents rose, but we are very proud to say that none of our clients actually lost any money. Um, maybe in the short term, they did, but we definitely just advise them to hold tight, wait it out, make some good money on your rents, and now everybody's back where they should be, plus some, okay? Of course, interest rates could rise, um, but you can fix rates in. I would say that in our experience with clients being in over 40 countries around the world, um, you know, interest rates tend to be much of a muchness for expats, but it's always a good idea to lock them in um, just in case. And then, of course, there's ever increasing regulation. So we take care of all of those aspects for you. Um, this includes safety and HMO, um, environmental considerations, asbestos, Legionella, gas safety, electric safety. We do have an in-house compliance team, and their job is to make sure that your properties are compliant at all times, taking the hassle away from you. OK, now property is very low risk and it's easy to understand. You know, we've all rented a flat before. Most of us have owned property before. So we understand how it works. Um, and as long as you have someone such as ourselves managing it for you on the ground, um, it's very easy to run. OK. So does the approach work? Well, eight out of 10 of our properties are actually pre-let. So while they're being renovated, we will market your property using stock photos. That means that we can attract tenants, which means that as soon as the renovation is complete, your tenants will be moving in, which is great. We're currently running a 98% occupancy rate, which we're very, very proud of. We have zero bad debts. Um, I think our 
bad debt ratio is like 0.01% or something. It's very, very low. Um, and this is because we have student property for the most part. There's no reason for them to be behind on their rent. Somebody else is paying the rent. So this is really secure for you as well. In some of our areas, rents have increased by 15% this year, particularly in our English markets. Um, up in Scotland, we're looking at about 10 to 12% up there. We're not quite finished with our letting season there, but it's looking like it's going to come out around 10 to 12%. And then, as I said, returns per annum are looking at about 28% when you buy with a limited company and you use bank gearing. Okay. And 98% of our clients say that they would refer us to a friend or colleague, which is something we're super proud of. Um, we love our clients and we love to help their friends and family as well. Um, so it's something that we take very seriously is achieving your strategy for you, whatever that may be. Okay. So the last bit is all about banks and tax, which is not really that fun, but we have to keep you on. So there we are. Um, so select a bank wisely. Um, most banks are actually still recovering. They're still very much so not wanting to work in the buy to let se sector um, now. So key things to ask, will your bank lend um, on, you know, three to five bed properties that are considered HMOs, uh, which many of them will not. Will they rent, will they lend to your renovated value? So, um, you know, this is going to leave less cash in the deal and is a, it's a significant amount. Will they lend to a limited company? to open up that tax efficiency. Now, is interest only loan a, a possibility? So a lot of them you know, won't do that. So that's something that we will recommend because that's gonna preserve your cash and allow you to reinvest. And then will the bank actually deliver on what they're offering you? Um, it's important to check with existing clients or with ourselves on, you know, we do hundreds and hundreds of deals a year. So we're going to know if a bank is actually serious about offering you the rates and the product that they put forward. And then what are the rates and fees? Um, this is something that we tend to not be too fussed about because these things are going to be tax deductible in your limited company. So it's more about getting a bank that's going to deliver for you. Uh, and uh, give you the ability to build the portfolio that you want to build, and then you can always take that off your tax. Okay. So again, the short answer is 95% of our clients will buy property in cash if they have the ability to do so. Um, and then as step two, they will put bank lending in place. But of course, as I said, you can always do lending up front. And with lending and limited company, you're looking at far higher returns and zero tax to pay. Okay. So in summary, UK residential combines low risk and high returns. Um, supply shortages are driving rents and prices. Traditional property has outperformed new builds in our segments. And the still weak pound, so the pound still hasn't really gone up as much as it could. I mean, it has been rebounding, but it still means that your money is going to be going further than it would have done, you know, sort of before Brexit and COVID as well. Okay, um, <clears throat> and these are just some sort of FAQs. Um, as I said, 80% of our properties are pre-let. Um, yields, I mean, the very lowest yield we we're looking at these days is 5%, but, you know, much higher in um, some of our English markets. Um, our fees are pretty easy. Nothing up front, 1.5% plus VAT on finder's fee, and then 15% plus VAT on your management fee. Um, but we could always delve further into those one-to-one um, -one as well. Okay. Um, so that is all from me. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to say to thank you for investing and reinvesting and for telling all of your friends. There we are. Thank you very much. Stephanie, that's brilliant. There we go. Um, guys, have we got any questions? I think we had we had one came in as you were talking about um, when you were comparing off plan new builds to um, existing property. You know, they were saying, what's the quality of the, the piping and, and the wiring and all of that in these older properties? But I think you answered that um, when you said that it's all pulled out and, and refitted. So, um, so thanks for that. Has anyone else got any questions? This is this is your time to to ask. 
I've, I've got a few questions that I wrote down. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, are all of them, all of your properties, the properties you offer, are they all refurbs or are there any, do you have to go through that refurb period or, or are there any that are refurbed and ready to go? You know, so say if someone's bought and they pulled out because they can't complete, have you ever, have you got any that are, are, are ready now and people could say, uh, I, I want to buy it now or are they all, do they all go through that refurb process? They all go through the refurb process because we don't own any of the assets. So another layer of sort of being neutral, so to speak, is that you're buying the property from a third party. We're obviously facilitating all of that, but we don't hold stock. Um, so you're very much so cherry picking the asset that you'd like. And then as soon as you take ownership of that asset, then we will start the renovation process. Sure. Okay. Understood. Um, here we go. We've got one come in mm -hmm. um, from Paul. Uh, if I need to get a mortgage, can you, Grant, organize this on his behalf, uh, especially when he's overseas? I think um, Paul's over here in Kale as well. Um, yeah. So... We are not mortgage brokers. Um, we are a property investment company. However, um, we do know of a, a master broker based here in the UK that has helped the vast majority of our clients. Um, again, all, almost all of our clients are overseas. We've got clients in over 40 countries. So what we would usually do is, um, Paul, if you found an asset that you were interested in, um, we would uh, secure it subject to finance for you. We would take your situation and the property to the brokers and we would get indicative terms for you. Um, one thing that's you know super cool about our process is uh, we will do all that admin for you. So we'll do as little or as much of the process for you as you'd like, um, which means that, you know, you can be really hands off if you'd like to be, um, but all the decision making lies with you. Super. Yeah, that's um, that's worth doing, Paul, is getting a decision in principle beforehand, you know, so that you know you'll be able to get financing on, on anything you're offering on. Um, need to dash, their question yep. was answered, Dave and Julia, that's great. Um, do you have another one from me? That's okay. Um, do you have someone that potential clients can speak to about the benefits of setting up a limited company if they wanted to delve into a bit more detail on that? Or would you suggest um, would you suggest they find their own people to speak to? We've got people they can speak to, but have you got anyone they can have a chat with about, um, you know, about the company formation, all of that sort of stuff? Yeah, so... Um at a sort of level one or level two, myself or my colleagues can definitely help on that. Um, however, if the tax structure is you know, more robust or complicated in any way, uh, we do have tax partners that um, we can refer to and help uh, you know, facilitate the conversation with, yes. Awesome, thank you. And um, Paul's asking about contact details. Are they on the website? Will you be getting in touch with people um, after this, Steph, you know, how does that work af afterwards? Yeah, so um, you can certainly, of course, go on our website, but on to from Tuesday next week, um, my colleague will be in touch with everyone who attended or registered um, in order to book some time into the diary with myself um, to have further conversations. Cool. And um, recordings are all going up on the APW YouTube, guys, so make sure you subscribe and like. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see that there tomorrow, probably. Have we got any other uh, any other questions, guys? No worries. Well, it was uh, it was an absolute pleasure. I really do hope to have some one to one conversations with you all from next week. Um, thank you so much for attending. Excellent. Well, yeah. Thanks again for for your time. That was brilliant. Very insightful and nice to see. Last week we had off plan, so it was good to see the other side of the coin and have secondhand property from uh, from you guys. So thanks very much. No problem. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.